G'day ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a new video. In this video I will be talking about my, basically my last step of this irrigation and that is inserting the nozzles. You might say, geez, isn't it a little bit, you know, too much to do an entire video just on the nozzles of your sprinklers because I've already obviously installed my sprinklers here and no it is not. It's one of the areas that can really make or break the system and really rectify some of the installation areas that we've made. So let's dive into that. Okay guys, so this part has got six of these Rainbird 5000 sprinkler heads and I'm going to now proceed and set every sprinkler head's left trip point to aim directly down this line. All but the very last one, that one I'm going to set to aim straight up the wall. Right, so I've just set up all my left and right trip points. Let me just quickly show you how to do that. Right, so very simply, we need to find our left trip point because on a rain bird, you'll only be able to adjust the right trip point. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it all the way to the left. Now there's two ways of setting your left trip point. You can either move the entire body of the sprinkler head. So turning this entire body like that, which I actually prefer. I just feel like there's less to break. Or we could turn this into a direction until it finds the trip point and then just kind of overturn it. It starts to slip like this. Let me just show you. Like that. Now it's off to that side. Now we can go back, find the left trip point. We see now it's not 100% aiming down the wall and just force it into that direction. It kind of slips. I think it's meant to do that though. Okay, let's say we found our left trip point. Now we need to find the right trip point. So we set it to the trip point. I've already set this one. You'll need a flat screwdriver or the rainbow tool. And then at the back of the sprinkler head, you'll see a plus and minus and that'll, this will increase or decrease the angle. So I'm just gonna overturn this one. Okay, so this one is tripping on the left point correctly, but on the right, it's far too much. It's like on 180 plus degrees. So now we're gonna set it. We're gonna trip it again, then set it to exactly where we want it. And then just decrease the screw until we feel it tightens a little bit. There we go. And that should now trip on 90 degrees down the wall and 90 degrees up the wall like this. Maybe just add a little turn. All right guys, so I've now set every single sprinkler in the middle to 180 degrees and obviously the ones on the corners to 90 degrees to spray down here and spray up to there. Now let's talk about nozzles and the importance of the numbers on them. Right, so very simply put, this is an American thing guys. I, I know this and you can see this by the numbering system on this. So there's a 1.5 and a 2 and a 2.5 and a 3 and a 4 and a 5 and a 6 and an 8 and this almost directly translates to gallons per minute at three bars of pressure. Obviously lower pressure, lower flow rate, higher pressure, more flow rate. So at three bars, this will give you the gallons per minute. Right, so why is it important for us to know how much these nozzles will put out? Because while designing our system or planning how many sprinklers we can put in each zone, we need to know how much water the sprinkler is going to use. Because if we overestimate and we end up with too little pressure, then these sprinklers will not work effectively. So each zone will be able to, you know, cater for five sprinklers or four sprinklers or three sprinkler heads. Um, and that's how you design your system. What I'll do is I'll put a chart up here on the screen or I'll just link it down at the bottom because it might be too small that shows you how much water every single nozzle puts out at what pressure. Right, so now I'm gonna install my nozzles, guys. And the thing I need to remember is that the nozzles that I use on the sprinkler heads that's running here in the middle cannot be the same as the ones that I use here on the corner. And why is that? Because these ones are only spraying a 90 degree angle and those ones are 180 degree angle. So the maths are very simple. Those will take double the amount of time to water than this will. So in very simple math, the nozzle that I will be using on the corners needs to be half the spec of the nozzles that I use in the middle 
to get more or less the same water coverage everywhere otherwise this area will get 10 millimeters of water and that area will only get five millimeters of water okay so i hope that makes sense to you so just understanding that obviously spraying 180 degree you know half circle will take more time to finish a complete turn double the amount of time to be exact than a 90 degree angle with the exact same sprinkler so very simply I'm going to use a 1.5 nozzle on the corners here, which is the smallest one, and I'm going to use a 3 nozzle size in the middles, where it'll put out more or less double the amount of water in the corners do. Right, so here's where a rainbow tool would have been very handy, because you stick it into this slot, turn it sideways, then it kind of hooks onto it. It's like a T screwdriver thingy, uh, but I'll have to do it the hard way. Pull up this head. To expose where the nozzle would go i'm going to insert the three nozzle here because i'm in the middle section and then i'm going to use 1.5s on the end it slots in just like that guys and then right here in the front where the nozzle is there's a screw that sits within this very first bit here which you'll need to screw down to serve two purposes. The first one is to hold this nozzle in place. Just have a look at that. The second purpose is when your sprinkler turns on, this screw disturbs the flow. So if your flow is too laminar or too straight and doesn't really water in the middle, you'll adjust the screw down to disturb the flow more and make more of a spray or retract it a little bit out to make the flow flow a little bit more straight again. There we go. All right, and I'm just going to repeat the process all the way down. Okay, like I said, all the nozzles are in. I'm going to turn the zone on and see what's happening. I'm not for one second suggesting that I'm done setting up. In fact, um, the finer adjustments could take way longer than this initial setup and installation. So I'm just going to turn it on manually. And there she goes. And there she goes. Just have a look at that guys, the overspraying completely so I'll have to adjust. Alright guys, so the first thing I noticed already is some of them need some more finer adjustment. Firstly on the angle where they're spraying, secondly to turning in the screws a little bit more. They're shooting out straight streams, they need to disturb the flow more. Um, and I'm going to even exaggerate that because I've only got a 4 meter depth here and my sprinklers are five meters apart so i really want to try and get my shooting distance as little as possible and that i'm going to do by turning in the screw all the way so that it really hey where's this one going um so that it really just breaks up and falls down one thing i can tell you is that um, the nozzle sizes look correct because the pressure seems sufficient but just have a look at this guys that is a massive overspray that's also why i've built the garden bed there with that lip so it catches all the excess water and the water that the, falls onto the grass well that's going to be here is more or less you know the same like a door like a door mm. okay so this is also where you can you know I don't want to say fix all of your problems but you can really play around with just adjusting it the best you can to the pressure that you've got okay so if you've got too little pressure which is probably the main pitfall here um, you will just revert back to smaller nozzle sizes go to the smallest if need be well i'm already on the smallest on the sides here but i could obviously go to half the flow rate in the middle still um, to build up pressure it will obviously hinder the overall performance a little bit you know instead of uniform putting water down the same exact amount of water all over but you could to build that pressure back up into the line if i were to sit 
with insufficient pressure. Guys, I've throttled the water a little bit here just to imitate um, a poor pressure system. Um, and at the end of the day, what happens is uh, the, the sprinkler loses its ability to properly break up the water droplets. So with less pressure, you almost get a system that shoots all the water to the end of its arc instead of breaking up and watching everything in between. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If there's any questions, hold them in the comment section below or send me a DM on Instagram, South African Lawn on Instagram. Um, I thank you so much for watching. This is my irrigation installation. Nozzles are quite important, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hold a like, hold a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next videos. Cheers for now. Bye-bye.